everyone. Voice check. Yep. Okay, uh, let's see. I think we can get started. Um, the viewer store pipeline is has got the usual stuff in it. Um, both bakes on mesh and EAP appear to be converging on releasability. Um, we expect that each of them will get one more update. It is our hope that, at least in functional terms, that's the last update for either of them. My expectation, and you know how hard it is to get me to say things like this, but my expectation is that EAP will, both EAP and Bakes on Mesh will probably go to fuel release in July. Um, so, um, we'll try and uh, if I if I had to guess right now, um, I would guess that it would be bake followed by EAP. Um, it could turn out to be either, and of course, there's always the possibility that something will go horribly wrong and we'll discover it, and um, and it will and it will actually take longer. But um, that's. That's truth as we understand it today. So uh, everybody keep your fingers crossed, and we will see what happens. Um, we also have the Love Me Render and Maintenance Viewers, which are sort of slightly more routine um, and have don't have as much dramatic stuff in it. But uh, it's they're coming along. Um, thank you. Uh, reviews and um, commentary is, of course, always welcome on any of them. Um, so uh, looking forward to that. Um, and uh, I don't have any news on, on other viewer stuff. Um, most of the rest is a little bit further out. We're probably going to wake up a couple of the other internal projects and trying to make progress on them. So they should be surfacing to where you all are seeing them again and activity on them again soon. Um, in particular, I, um, I'm i gonna see if we can't get the uh, texture cache and texture fetching rewrite um, going again. So hopefully, updates on those. Um, if we if we get the texture fetching working, we'll see if we can also improve inventory fetching, but that's a little bit a little bit different. Um, we are doing work on the some work on the inventory back end at the moment um, and that may um, improve the picture for working on the viewer side of that pipeline. So and the tool chain Upgrade, we uh, thank you to Nikki for recognizing a problem that was blocking the tool chain upda up, update um, and fixing, um, providing, providing the hint that um, enabled Matt to unblock that. So that will be, I think, going to QA soon. There's like one last little glitchy thing, but it's not nearly as difficult as the last one. Um, so uh, again, keep your fingers crossed. We can all go to Visual Studio 2017, which enables us to start being able to apply some uh, some more C++ language features that we haven't been able to use because it wasn't supported in all our tool chains yet. 
Um, that same repository has, uh, yes, has the latest Xcode support. So um, uh, we haven't gotten to being able to test performance yet, so I can't really answer that question. Um, one can always hope it has happened before, um, but in any event, uh, we a few years ago, we learned the very painful lesson of just how terrible it gets if you get too far behind on the tools, because sooner or later, you don't have any choice. And if you've made it a big delta, it's really, really, really painful. So we're trying to stay, you know, within at least, um, you know, throwing distance of, of the current supported tool chain for both, both major platforms. Um, uh, oh, well, uh, so all of those things are, are moving forward. And um, if we're lucky, by the end of the summer, we'll have all of that stuff out there and life will be better for everybody. Um, the, well, we, 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 we will have a short no release uh, period around 4th of July next week. Um, and we are, and, and then another one at the end of July, beginning of August, when we're doing our annual summer um, planning summit, um, getting all of the many distributed parts of the Second Life team uh, or as much of it as we can together in one place and we have a big party and we do a lot of really great work and we come away with lots of new energy and ideas for how to, how to proceed with making Second Life even more glorious. Um, so um, there are at least those two breaks that will be happening over the next month and a half. Um, <laughs> we will discuss why we're not doing mirrors. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so that's all coming, and uh, of course, there's there's other stuff going on that will be percolating out into the viewer world soon. My hope is that the third party viewers will be able to pick up um, bakes on mesh and eep, and then we'll all be back on a more consistent feature footing. Um, by the end of the summer, too. So that would be great. Uh, <laughs> so there, uh, that's, I think that's the news I've got. Anything to add to that, Veer, that I forgot? Uh, let's just a little more detail about Bakes on Mesh. Um, that has depended on a couple of other services, the simulator and the appearance service, and uh, those bits are all fully deployed. So it's it's just down to the last couple of uh, viewer issues at this point. Yeah. So. So uh, even though we have we'll have the usual disruptions caused by summer vacations and so forth. Um, uh, it does look as though we're we're making progress on a bunch of fronts right now. So uh, that's all good. Um, the floor is open for whatever discussion we need to have or want to have. Well, uh, I, I can understand the perspective of support on that, Beck. Um, on the other hand, if you're going to do one release for every six or eight of ours, that's going to happen to you from time to time. I just mean that we do much more frequent releases than Firestorm does. Uh, 
uh, we got a new, I think we got a new build of the 360 viewer. Um, and it's waiting on QA. We have to make sure that it doesn't mess things up if you log in with it. Um, QA is a little backed up right now, so I'm not sure how quickly that will come out, but it is, it is getting, it is getting worked on. Well, it's getting brought up to feature parity with the current releases. We're not actually working. We haven't yet gotten back to working on the 360 snapshot feature specifically, but our goal is to get it back in circulation with support for all of the current viewer features. And hopefully the 360 snapshots will still work as well as they did before. Uh, the only the only reason that we we took it down was that it was missing so many bug that the, the 360 viewer down was that it was missing so many things that were in the current release viewer that we we wanted to get it updated so that's that's really all it was there wasn't anything catastrophic about it Um, we are, we are working on a strategy for how to deal with OpenGL support. I'm not, it is too soon to be, um, discussing what that strategy will be. Um, one part of that strategy that is important, I'll put in my usual plug, is that we need to hire another rendering developer. So if you know one, please send them our way. We are actively recruiting, and we hope to hire soon. Yeah, thank you for anybody who Who uh, is referring us people? Um, I tried to I tried to plug it a little bit at my Meet the Lindens appearance at SL sixteen B as much as I could. May have sounded a bit like a broken record, uh, but uh, it is actually a very big deal, and we really want to get it done. Besides, if any of you who have ever done hiring before, you know that the most important thing once you have an open rec is to get it filled before somebody takes it away from you again. And so we want to we want to get that done. Yeah, we do want to improve the um, improve feedback to creators um, and.
Is the heat getting to you folks? You're awfully quiet. Obviously, I can't discuss what sort of salary we might might or might not pay, but uh, I'm certainly happy to have that conversation privately with uh, with the candidate that we uh, are interested in. I can say that in general, the mid lap salaries are very competitive. Certainly not out of line with the, the business as a whole. Thank you, Tor. Appreciate it. I cannot speak for Lindens in general, except for the people who work for me, which is Second Life Engineering and, and uh, Systems Operations. But um, in that space, we are definitely quite reasonable. Um, oh, yeah. How long till we get to play with the mobile viewer? Um, it's uh, it we're we 
we're starting the process of trying to get the initial test versions through Apple's process. Um, this is the first time we're having to go through that on, on this product. So um, it's anyone's guess how long that will take. Um, so if you've got an iPhone and you want to play with it, uh, you'll want to install test flight because that's how beta apps work in the Apple ecosystem. Um, I don't, I don't know the answer to either whether it will work on an iPad or, or the min iOS version. Off, off the top of my head. It, it, it would be unlikely to not work on iPad, although the extent to which we would have different, you know, experiences, configurations on, on iPhone and iPad are you know, still to be determined. Um, at, the, at this point, um, you know, it, it should be noted that um, I, I wouldn't even call this a viewer. The what we're what we're going to be releasing initially, it's it's more a communicator. Um, it enables you to communicate with people people in Second Life, it, it doesn't put you in world in the sense that your avatar is not rendered somewhere and, you're, um, and you don't get a view of the world. You, you are not going to have a location. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a way for you to communicate via person-to-person via -person or group chat. Not a way to uh, manifest in the world or have the world viewable at this point. Um, well, we we hope to evolve it beyond that in a bunch of ways eventually. But I'm, I'm talking about what the initial releases will be. Um, that's a good question, Coffee. I I don't have an answer to that. Um, some of the infrastructure we're we're building in support of that on the server side might actually be usable to build something similar on the web, but. Uh, that is not um, in the short-term plan. <laughs> because we can only do so many things at once. And we're already doing about 50% more than that, so many things. Yeah, I I don't have any news to share on Lumia. I, I don't have any news myself, so I can't. Obviously, I can't share what I don't know. Um, it was the existence of Lumia that caused us to prioritize iOS initially, but... Uh, constantly trying to improve the performance of Sims and clients. We do have a, a re simulator release in the pipeline. It won't be out 
until at least week after next, depending on how well it does in QA and so forth, that makes some improvements to um, script performance, we think. Uh, it will be interesting to see if it has the same effects in the real grid as it has on our test equipment. Um, and uh, there's at least one thing that we know of, that we know how to fix for the lag spikes when someone teleports in, um, that is on the queue to be worked on, but hasn't been yet. So. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to even attempt to get into the internal architectural changes we're going to make to deal with that. Um, but we're, we, we know of at least one thing we think will improve that situation. Um, once we've actually done it, we'll be able to measure not, whether or not we were right. Um, so um, I don't even have a theory about why somebody teleporting out would have any effect at this point. We do think we've made significant improvements to the region crossing and teleport problems that we were having for a while. And those will be all over the grid. The latest version of those changes will be all over the grid next week. And we're, uh, the plan at this point is not to put anything new into the RCs next week because we don't want that a lot of people are taking time off next week because of the holiday on Thursday. And that uh, reduces the number of hands we'll, available to deal, we'll have available to deal with any problems. So we're not putting anything in the anything new in the release channels. So everybody will have nice, stable, up-to-date everything. And nobody will be subjected to experimental next steps. That doesn't sound right to me. I'll have to check on that. Objects detaching on teleport, um, like I said, we've put in a bunch of changes. Um, those are on most of the grid now. They should be, I think the full set of changes will be on the grid as of Tuesday, as of the Tuesday roll next week. Um, it's probably true that we have not completely eliminated, I mean, I believe it's true that we have not completely eliminated those those problems, but I think we very significantly reduced the incidence frequency.
Well, Twerk, that's a that's a Firestorm feature, not a Linden Lab viewer feature, so I'm not going to speculate on that.
at this point, we're not working directly on attempting to support VR headsets. We don't think that right now uh, it's possible to get a sufficient frame rate to avoid um, messing people up. So uh, it's it, there may come a time when we can revisit that, but at this point it's not on the roadmap at all. I wouldn't say that we're afraid of putting radical changes in. It's just that that's not the one we would pick. Uh, I, I hope that we will be able to make significant performance changes relatively soon, but it's not the top priority at the moment. It can't be. Among other reasons, because we haven't hired that rendering developer I keep pestering people about. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Chanty. Hi. Uh, I just want to add something that... I, I, I'm just barely hearing you. Hang on a sec. You can hear me now? Yeah, you're, you're very, very, very quiet. I can turn you up a little bit, but... Okay, I can, I can make my voice louder. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Fine. Uh, I've been creating NSL since long time, and I've been trying to let my friends, my close friends, my family, to have an attention to what I'm doing here in SL. But it was it was hard until lately. When Are you uh, we, we we lost you right after you said until lately. Until lately, when I found 360 Snapchat Viewer. Oh, okay. And I start, and I start taking 360 photos and making time-lapse movies for, for my art and inward and showing it to people outside sec Second Life using VR headset, using Oculus uh, headset and Gear Samsung, the, the, the portable ones. And I was overwhelmed with how people reacted to Ten years ago, they didn't even care. Nobody, nobody. Now everybody is like. Every time we're like getting a little bit closer, we lose the track. And then we go back to computer. So something, something hard, something uh, difficult for, for regular people. I'm, I'm just a mom. I create to, to, for my own pleasure. But now, finally, I can feel proud showing people what I'm doing through VR headset. But the VR That's headset, great. I will lose their interest. But nobody cares. Nobody cares. Listen about anything I have to say about SL or what I'm doing inside. That's now they look about... Are, are Wow, what is this? This, this is something not a game anymore. This is something like future VR just by taking C sixty photo. So yeah, I I am very enthusiastic about that project. Uh, we 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 had to suspend work on that um, because we needed to have our 
rendering developer focus on the on the EAT project. Um, as I said, we're hoping that that's going to wind down a little bit, and hopefully we'll be able to um, we'll be able to get some more attention to that and get it packaged up and finished at some point. Um, I, I I can't I can't guess how long that will will take, uh, but uh, we aren't going to forget about it. It's definitely something we want to do. Um, I'm, I'm, I am the wrong person to be talking about what the internal strategy of the of the rendering changes will be. Um, I'm, uh, I'm just not going to go there. It would be, yeah, I think I, the 360 photos are a, a very cool feature, um, and uh, we aren't going to we aren't going to lose track of that feature. We'll we'll get back to it eventually. All I can say on that uh, is that um, we take backwards compatibility very seriously, and I think we do a better job of it than most things. Um, there are, of course, limits to how well a nine-year-old machine running a an ancient operating system in 32-bit mode is going to be able to render the content that people create for Second Life. Um, we can't we, we can't work miracles. Um, so um, so uh, well, retrofitting multi-threaded into something that was not built to be that way in the first place is a pretty difficult thing to do and maintain stability. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying we won't try to add some more multi-threading uh, at some point in the future. But uh, yeah, we tried the light version thing. It didn't work. It didn't help is what I, uh, what I mean to say. One of the things that we do that, uh, you know, is maybe not obvious from the outside is that we are constantly trying things out, especially with parts of the new user experience. Um, and we do a serious amount of work to measure how well those changes work. Um, and uh, we, we don't want to, we don't want to do work or maintain differences to support something that actually doesn't make any difference to user retention. Uh, so we don't.
we could we could assume that if we wanted to, Tark, but it wouldn't be true.
Uh, my understanding is that whether or not increasing the amount of memory available um, depends heavily on a, a bunch of different things. We do have a viewer development branch, which we're going to start work on again probably next week, uh, that uh, includes the ability to increase that. So, um, But it is also true that if you make it too high on some systems, um, you'll make the whole viewer unusable. So um, that should be done with great caution. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to speculate about what kind of numbers work or don't work because I don't know. Actually, one of the projects we did a while back where we were experimenting with changes to how textures were cached, um, which has never gotten anywhere near release yet. Um, one of our testers, who happens to have a, a very, very fast network, um, found that they got better performance by just setting the cache size to zero and never caching anything, which is a really weird edge case, actually. but. But it's uh, hopefully, hopefully in the in the rewritten cache that won't be true no matter how good your network is. Um. Yes, right. We have seen the antivirus interfering. Okay, um, I need to get set for my next thing. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you in two weeks, I think. Let me just double check my calendar and make sure that that's right. Um, yes, we are still on for two weeks from today on the 12th. So thank you for coming and for the good discussion today. And wish us luck with getting those two big releases out this month, this coming month, I should say. Bye, all.